So that's going to be one of those avoidance behaviors. I'm just going to hide until this big threatening thing goes away. Now, here's an example of pretty much every behavior that I went over already. So first of all, this snake's space is being invaded. Its personal space, its habitat is being invaded. And it first just tries to freeze and act like a statue and ignore what's happening. And when that doesn't work, then the corn snake attempts to escape. It moves away quickly. And when that doesn't work, it's frantically trying to get away. Its space is still being invaded. It's now tail rattling. And that's a behavior that is an attempt to make it look more threatening. Now it's raising this body up off the ground. This is aggressive posturing to tell this threat to go away, to tell this predator to leave them alone. Now the corn snake is striking, so tail rattling, making the body bigger, inflating the body, trying to create distance between themselves and the potential threat, and then the striking. So that doesn't work either. <laughs> Now the predator, which is a human being, is invading their space more. They've taken the habitat out. They brought the habitat closer to the human. And now the snake doesn't know what to do. They've tried to get away. They've tried to defend themselves. Now the snake is exhibiting those avoidance behaviors, hiding the head um, under the body, burrowing and attempting to burrow under substrate and just hoping that this big, scary thing goes away and leaves them alone. 